We're turning now to the massive relief operations in the Philippines. Major humanitarian missions are ramping up and the American aircraft carrier USS George Washington has arrived to begin helping with the aid operations. Other foreign militaries and international aid organizations are also pouring in resources in the wake of Typhoon Haiyan. VOA's Steve Herman reports from Villamore Air Base on the outskirts of Manila. U.S. Marine and other American military aircraft are lifting tons of supplies into Tacloban, where several hundred thousand survivors are growing desperate after days without food or clean water. Soon a fleet of U.S. Navy vessels, led by the USS George Washington aircraft carrier, will join the effort. U.S. Marine Corps Brigadier General Paul Kennedy, who has flown over the devastation, describes the storm as like a tsunami with the strength of a cyclone nearly 100 kilometers wide. Every single palm tree has been ripped out of the ground. And they're laying across the roads. They're, they're in people's, uh, in, in the places that they might use to, you know, to set up uh, their houses. It's, it's just strewn. They're matchsticks all over the ground there. Aircraft are departing Manila with supplies and returning with survivors. It's too soon to estimate how many plane loads of equipment and basic necessities are needed, says Dan Dekaus working at the air base in his role as the civilian military coordinator with the U.S. Agency for International Development. This is a, a significant problem. Um, we are uh, mobilizing and taking steps to, uh, to, to move the relief effort forward. The 31 members of Jeffrey Pika's family managed to escape Tacloban on an American cargo plane. Buti nga yung, yung lahat ng family ko na ano, it is good our family survived and could come here, and we're going to stay because there's nothing to go back to there. Also on the same flight with the Pika family, Australian Wayne John Hickey, who says hungry survivors looted every store they could find. Now McDonald's, hamburgers, they're all in there looting all the chicken out of it. Bring trays and trays. I said, can I have two bags? Yes, please. Yes, they got, I got two bags. Went home and had tea because there's no food in the hotel, no water, no electricity. Fifty tons of humanitarian supplies were airlifted from here on Tuesday. That amount can now significantly increase with the severely damaged airport at Tacloban again able to operate around the clock. Steve Herman, VOA News, Villamore Air Base in the Philippines.